the Kodak album. Oh, I talked okay. about it yeah, last. Yeah, I did want to talk about that too. Yeah. Um, last podcast, I, I bree- breezed over it saying, I think this is going to be a really good album mm-hmm. and, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I was in a good mood when I listened to it. I will say this. I saved like four of the songs from the first half. Mm-hmm. And I still listen to them, and I'm like, yeah, I un- completely understand why I saved them, and I yeah. still really like them. Yeah. The rest of the album, man, just was a blur, and I was bored. It's uh, funny, because I think that album started off trash. Okay. okay. The first, like, four or five songs, I was That's like... That's usually how we go, though. I was like, bro, you. I can't believe Kodak is doing this right now. And then it switched up, and then it started going more in my direction. And I was like, okay. So when I listen to this album, I got to go straight to, like, track five or six or something like that. And then I can go from there. Because the rest of the album to me was fine. Mm. Yeah, for me, I was... We're usually always opposite on albums and stuff like that. Like, Hopefully like if I like the... F- usually I like the... F- <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Russia. All okay. Right, we're good. Usually, I like the first half, mm-hmm. and usually, you like the second half. Most of the time, I swear you always love the back half. Pause, and I, usually, I like the first half. But there has been other times when it's opposite. But mm-hmm. we're still always opposite. Yeah, I swear we are. But anyways, it seems that way. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I just I I really hype. I think it's also because I only listened to a little bit of the album. And I hyped it up so much for myself because I was like, dude, this is so amazing so, yeah, so far. Then you, yeah. And then I listened to it at a time when I wasn't well, really in the mood the same way I was in the beginning. Yeah, when it, you first put yeah. play on it or whatever. So I got to try to listen to this album again because I really feel like I'm missing out on the whole Kodak thing. And I don't get it because it feels like something that I normally would really like, if that makes sense. It's not like the whole NBA, you know, little dirt thing. Like, I don't know. I just feel like... Kodak was in the 2016 class, and he's the only one that I just can't still wrap my head around, you know? Yeah. Who all was in that uh, class? Um, You know... It was uh, Kodak, Uzi... Uh, uh, 21 yeah, Savage. Re- okay, yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, tw- what, yeah, Looking at the yeah, uh, video. Yeah, Denzel but, Curry. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Dude, I can relate with Denzel Curry's music more than I can Kodak. I don't know what's going on with me, but anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's you. I think it's just uh, your connection with Kodak ain't yeah. there simple as that you know that's true i just don't get the appeal but anyways mm-hmm. that's really all i had on that it was pretty quick so but um yeah i i i, I only listened to it one time and uh mm-hmm. i got to like the last two songs and i stopped listening to it because it was a podcast that i wanted to listen to that came yeah. on so uh but aside from that though like that first half i was like i can't like i just listened to dirk album and i didn't really like it that mm-hmm. much um and then that's true too and that's now true. i'm listening to a kodak that, album and it, i can't believe he's doing this because there was at one point one song he wasn't on beat at all during the whole song and i was just like bro what is going on now but then he got started to get in the bag that i like okay. him to get into and i'm yeah. like okay here we go uh one of my friends that i play 2k with said he uh, heard the first two songs and he turned it off and said he ain't gonna wow. listen to it that, and then i told him i was like the rest of the album picks up and then he said okay i'm gonna check i'm gonna check out the rest then he said maybe i turned it off too fast which the second song is my favorite song of yeah, kodak in a long time it. yeah he wasn't feeling that but and see, I, get I, think it. I get it though. i think that's the disconnect with uh you and kodak where it's like he don't do that kind of stuff that kind of bag for you yeah he does the, what the back half of the album was and so it's like when i saw it i was like okay like, yeah because yeah. it's totally different from yeah. the regular kodak um, oh. uh chuck heard dirk's album the first time he said that he didn't like it he said that it was uh what did he say he said that he feels like it was better than 7220 but it was still not a good album Really? Yeah, but after now, it's been a week, and he called me and said, you might be disappointed in what I'm about to say, but the Dirk album is all right. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But I, I, he said it's like an eight now, and I I, I got it at, uh, around the same as the 7220, because I, I think I took the same amount of songs from it. He's supposed to be dropping a video today to uh, Sad Songs, by the way. Yeah, I saw that. It kept popping up. I thought he already did, but he keeps promoting that yeah. song coming out because yeah. I saw it on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, yeah. I think. Um, but uh, maybe it'll drop when we're um, potting. I don't know. But um, It's probably out right now, to be honest. I think it was 1 p.m., actually. Oh, I'm okay, thinking okay. about it. But I, <sighs> Talk about it. Sometimes some, some of my apps, my uh, time zone settings are fucked up. I saw on YouTube it said one, but maybe that really means a different time. I don't know. Possibly. Um, yeah. 
Um, yeah, one o'clock. Yep. But I'm gonna keep trying to listen to Lil Durk's album. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check like, out both of those albums again. I think Lil Durk's album is going to get a higher rating for me at yeah. the end. I think it. I think it will be in my top ten at the end of the year. Um, and it might rise up. It might not be number ten. So. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go. And well, it might be in the top ten if not many people drop this year. But if people get to drop, and I don't see him being there. Yeah. Cause uh, like there's no song on that album that was like block list for me. Oh yeah, yeah true, true, true. Block true. list was my that was joint. your shit, man. Yeah, yeah, I still listen to it every day, almost every day. At Damn. Least. Yeah. That's how I am with a lot of Tory Lane songs, so I get it. Gotcha. Why aren't you subscribed to it? Why are you not subscribed to our channel? Dude, subscribe to the freaking channel. It takes two seconds. You'll love our content, man. Promise. Bye.